The primary goal is really to prevent foodborne illness, prevent waterborne illness, and to uh, prevent injuries. The Environmental Public Health Department is a branch of public health that helps protect the public safety as it relates to air, food, and water. Hi, I'm Bill Mance with Jackson County Close-Up. We're here today with Jackson Bowers. He is the Division Manager at Jackson County Public Health. Thanks for joining us today, Jackson. Thanks for having me. So tell us about environmental public health and what that encompasses. Yeah, the primary program is what we call our food pool and lodging program. And so that program has a what you call health inspectors collectively. Oh, gotcha. That's generally what folks refer to the uh, registered environmental health specialist. That's their technical name. And so they license and inspect uh, restaurants, um, any place that's serving food to the public, hotels, motels, okay. organizational camps, uh, RV parks, and also public pools and spas. The primary goal is really to prevent foodborne illness, prevent waterborne borne illness, and to uh, prevent injuries. Just specific to the restaurants, I think. I think people might be surprised that that goes beyond just restaurants, but that's what we all see when, when, a, when they get a rating, if you will. Correct, yes, it does go beyond just restaurants. So you have uh, what's become more popular over the last 10 years, you have the, uh, the mobile food units, right. just the, the food carts, food trucks, uh, if you will. In addition, any time there's food service at events like, let's say, the fair, uh, oh, the right. pear blossom, the inspectors are actually out there doing inspections for those public food service events. We have an emphasis on education within that program as well. Mm -hmm. It's not just going out and saying, you know, hey, you got this wrong, you did this wrong. It's really trying to work with the operator to educate them to generally over time also just improve that, the food service and that relationship with them. But as needed, which occasionally occurs, we do uh, have enforcement activities. Okay, other parts of uh, environmental public health? Yeah, we also have a drinking water program. And so the drinking water program really monitors and oversees over 200 small drinking water systems in Jackson County. Typically those are associated with uh, mobile home parks okay. and things like that. And the goal of that is just to ensure that the folks, the residents and the visitors there are actually getting clean drinking water. You know, we've been talking about smoke now for the last few years a lot but there's this element about wood stoves and things like that that I think you help out with as well so tell us a little about that yeah that's correct we have a, a wood stove and open burning program so the the history in the Rogue Valley and in Jackson County is is long ago that the the county was out of compliance with federal air quality rules and so a program got started really to deal with wood stoves and open burning and the goal of the program is to have cleaner air in the community and to make sure that we're in compliance with those standards oftentimes we think about wildfire smoke now but during the winter time when there's a lot of wood stove use we can actually get to our air quality can be can be poor at those times so we do a lot of education and enforcement around that